King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, inaugurated the Global Business Women's Forum under the theme Art Bridges to the World, being hosted in the Kingdom. On the occasion, Her Royal Highness emphasised the importance of such major conferences in extending bridges of communication and rapprochement and opening vistas of cooperation between businesswomen and entrepreneurs from all over the world and opening the door for the exchange of experiences and ideas which will boost national economies and achieve sustainable development. Her Royal Highness urged the participants to activate the leading role of women in this field, which makes women an essential factor alongside men in boosting the global economy through creation of an ideal dialogue platform to confront challenges facing women. Her Royal Highness also attended the general session. Speakers included the UAE Minister of Development and International Cooperation, Sheikh Lubna bint Khalid al Qasimi, Professor Amal Suma al Mubarak from Kuwait University, her Royal Highness Princess Lulwa al Faisal bin Abdulaziz from the late Princess Efat University in Jeddah, the President of the World Congress of FCEM, Laura Gucci, and the Omani expert on family and women's empowerment, Dr. Sharifa al Yahia. The 63rd FCEM World Congress, being held at Bahrain's Gulf Hotel Convention Center, has attracted around 350 female entrepreneurs from 42 countries, hoping to network, share ideas and do business. All have been supremely impressed with Bahrain's rich history and continuing drive towards women's empowerment across all sections of society. Looking at the number of people or the women who had been here, it's phenomenal. And then the, uh, um, the representation is of over 40 countries at the moment, which is spectacular. Um, uh, Kingdom Bahrain had always taken the lead, not today, but for the longest time, in um, positioning of women, uh, uh, whether it's really for women support in any, in any aspect, but in particular to business and the parliament. So for us, uh, uh, the uh, Bahraini women uh, stand as a great example for us uh, in the Middle East and especially the GCC. The event has been organized by FCEM and the Bahrain chapter of the Business and Professional Women International Organization, with support from the Supreme Council of Women, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, the Economic Development Board and the Labour Fund, as well as the Council of Arab Businesswomen. It's very important uh, to do build uh, bridges, as the, the title of this is Building Bridges, between the FCM and uh, members of the FCM who came from all, the, all over the world and with the, uh, the Council of uh, Arab Businesswomen and also the Bahraini women that are here in their business. At 4 o'clock we are going to have the BNB, Business to Business, which is the projects uh, in different areas in business and agriculture and IT and uh, commerce and oil. We are meeting and exchanging projects and this will be for the first time, uh, second time FCM has in uh, Congress in the Arab world. It was in Morocco, now it's in the Kingdom of Bahrain. And it's very important to build the bridges between uh, the West and the East and uh, Asia also is here. So that's very important for us. The world president of FCEM, Laura Gucci, was present and has already proposed future projects in League with the Kingdom. She spoke to the gathering and shared some of her insights with Bahrain Television as well. The difference among FCEM, Le Femme Chef d'Entreprise Mondiale, 
and the other association of women is in our association only entrepreneur can be member. So we have a different uh, approach to the problem of women. We want to empower women. Why? Because women are the person, also if they are entrepreneur and they have a big responsibility in their life, they take care always of their family and that's very important for us. We take care of children, we take care a lot of education because we think education is so important. Women are better in the results, in the studies, in university, in all around the world. They finish in shorter time and they finish with higher votes. So women have all the capability to be leaders. If you imagine a man, you imagine one single person. If you imagine a woman, you imagine the society. Because women take care of the economy of their family, but they take care of the health of all the family. So we have a, a large vision of the world. After 70 years, FCEM is still making pioneering strides for women's issues, this time by selecting the Kingdom of Bahrain as the host of its 63rd World Congress, being held for the first time in the Arabian Gulf. Reporting for Bahrain Television, I'm Danielle Deporto. The president of the 63rd FCEM World Congress, organizing committee and president of the Bahrain chapter of BPW, Sheikh Ahint bin Salman Al Khalifa, delivered the welcoming speech at today's ceremony and explained the process and aspirations behind Bahrain's hosting of the prestigious global event. I must say I'm very proud that we hold this conference in Bahrain. It's an annual FCEM Congress that they hold alternate years in uh, Arabic, non-Arabic country, and we were privileged to uh, submit our request when we were in Taiwan last uh, September. And in six months, uh, we felt the challenge was a big challenge to uh, get set get started and set up and organize for this uh, Congress. Uh, it's important for me to say that there are opportunities in Bahrain and the idea of building bridges is to make sure that we bring investors to Bahrain. It's our duty through our federation, which is the BPW, a center in Jasra, to promote uh, incubators as well as create networking and bring investors to Bahrain.